Yo, what's up, boys? So today we're making these melodies like Future and Young Thug, just kind of like ambient, basic stuff. Uh, I just want to say I took one week off making samples to like clear my head up, clear my mind up, because you know I just needed to like chill for a little bit. Um, back to making videos now. Make some more. I'll make one more this week or so. Try to get one to two a week. That is my goal. I'm using my phone because I'm tired of getting roasted from my webcam. And yeah, loop down the description below. Follow my Instagram at LoganKVH. And thank you so much for the support while I was gone. And yeah, let's go. Yo, what's up, boys? Terry, we're making these melodies like Future and Young Thug. Uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna just play the loop. Yeah, so, um, pretty simple loop. Uh, honestly, the main reason I picked it is it got used by Pluto. So, I'll just put that up on the screen. But, yeah, I just thought that was fire. And, yeah, it's kind of just a random loop that I made. And just, I kind of liked it. At first, it was kind of like one of those FLPs where, uh, you make it. And then it just kind of sits on your desktop because you don't use it. But, uh some reason sometimes those FOPs just end up doing well and that's what happened to me I actually have a song with Lil Got It and that's exactly what happened I just made it didn't like it came back to it later but yeah so I'm gonna play the main idea right here and the sound for this is uh and yeah this is a sound from Omnisphere uh there's these people called Sound World and they're pretty fire. They have all these free atmosphere banks. But yeah, I'm gonna just play it out real quick. So yeah, super simple melody. Uh, the rhythm is literally like stupid simple. I pretty much just kind of made a rhythm and then changed up the notes like I literally do in every single tutorial and I kind of just had it uh, go down like this and then it goes up goes up again and pretty much if you want to add some variation here's the ending and then you can make it go back up because really these future young thug melodies it just got to be ambient kind of spacey um, just have something going for it that's easy to follow that you can kind of like remember in your head like if you hear a song on the radio and it gets stuck in your head and there's like the rhythm that's exactly what this is just a rhythm that you fuck with and yeah the melody or the bass line is the same little baby bass line everyone uses so down for it and yeah next sound i added was this uh key it was just something really ambient to sit in the background because like I said, you want these melodies to be ambient and the best way to do that and not do too much is to just have little background elements because a lot of people will overdo it with the amount of sounds they use and you can still use a lot of sounds. Like this is like, you know, I don't know how to count, but it sounds. And uh, it's just a little ambient thing to sit in the background, same exact melody, I'm gonna play it. As you can hear, it's literally doing nothing much, but it's just kind of sitting in the back uh, frequency area. And yeah. So the next two sounds are along this premise, so I'm gonna just play them uh, like right by each other. First is this um, atmosphere sound from Olaf for Arnold's by Spitfire. I just like this for like ambient pads and stuff. It's literally uh, chords from the actual melody. Like I said, it literally just fills nothing up. And then this is a VST called Synth Master I was just kind of messing with and this is super quiet, but this is what I have. And uh, if you like that sound, uh, this is what it's called. I think this is a free VST. I mean, I would know obviously because I bought it, but yeah. So obviously you got to add variation in your samples. And I went from it going just like, you know, basic to adding this little counter melody in the second pattern or whatever, third pattern. And it's pretty much this little ambient whistle sound from Omnisphere. It's called like Whistler Bell or something. But 
uh, I use the sound a lot, but I'll play it by itself and then play it with the melody. And then with the melody, it just goes with it. Uh, no certain rhythm, no certain notes. Like I did, I just did what sounded good. You know, when you make enough melodies, you can like kind of figure out things that you know will sound good. Like for example, this starts low and then shoots up because I have this note stretch out and it can manipulate the sound and then it's going down. And yeah, I'll just play with it. good counter melody because it's something like you obviously notice it but it's just not doing too much which in the end gives more room for the artist and makes the beat simpler because simple beats get placed last thing i like to do to add some variation is literally just take the main melody pitch it down and yeah uh it just adds some more effect and if you don't have too much to vary it like if you don't have too many elements to take in and take out you can just pitch it all the way down and keep some things pitched up and it'll just add a good effect but that wasn't enough for me so I, what i did is i went in arcade to this bank called shadow dance um distant voices and i'll play like one sound of it before my computer crashes and yeah yeah so i had these spaced out because for some reason they were off time so i rendered that out and then put them all in the playlist and then also use automation clips to separate them because it was like cutting for some reason so as you can see when it stopped i just used a little automation clip to barely like bring it off and this just made it not suddenly stop which was what the popping sound was caused by for some reason, yeah. So after I rendered it out, uh, I just made it all one clip and then played it with the melody just for one bar. Because when you're using Arcade, the best trick is to not overdo it because there's a way to do it right and there's a way to do it wrong. And obviously if it sounds good, it sounds good, but sometimes you can just overdo it. So the best advice for that, um, is in the mixing. So as you can see, this looks really weird. But what I like to do is add a whole lot of reverb. So I'll play it with just the reverb. And then cut the highs off. Cut the highs off. And then I did the same thing again, add the reverb all the way and then cut the highs off. And then it makes it more ambient sounding without doing too much because like I said, people overdo arcade and it's way too loud and it just needs to be in the background doing enough. And yeah. And as for the mixing of other sounds, I'll just play them each by themselves and show you. Nothing on this. Just a little bit of EQ to clean it up. Nothing on this. Nothing on this. And yeah, this is just the arcade. So this is a really simple loop. Um, you know, lately I've been really keeping my mixing simple because if you have good sound selection, you really don't need to worry about all the effects. Like obviously you can add additional things, but as far as cleaning it up, is if you can find good sounds, you really don't need to worry about that. And yeah, thank you guys for his 200 subscribers. I just checked my phone, we're at like 208. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this video <laughs> hello rushed like a lot of mine are, but I just you know didn't know what to make a video on. But give me some time to make some other melodies that are like actually good and don't suck. And yeah, I'll make tutorials on those. Uh, I was gonna make a dark Q beats violin melody, I'll actually play that now. So if you guys want me to break down that, I will. Um, I, have, I have a good couple other melodies, but yeah, follow my Instagram at LoganKBHN, loop down in the description below. Um, yeah, let's hit the next subscriber milestone, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bruno,